common. I didn't think that was that strange. I mean, $10,000, I mean, that might be a little rich for, you know, most people's taste, Dorit. Um, again, I think I've said this before, when I have a certain amount of cash on me or I'm wearing a certain watch or I have a certain bag on, I'm just very, and it really begs the purpose, but I'm very cognizant of my thing. So if I had a wad of cash, I don't, we don't even need to say five, say 5,000, 2,000, whatever it is, I'm aware of it. And I'm a little bit guarded, right? Until it gets home in a safe place. So I don't know, Dory, you put this down and did you do, do, I know they were targeting you, PTSD, et cetera. I don't know what else there really is to say. I don't even have a criticism of that. Beverly has, I don't know, guys, what are you thinking? I'm getting a lot of DMs. You guys are, you guys are mixed. You're mixed. It's a little, it's a little boring, right? It's a little, yeah, it's not the, it's not a bad season. I love Beverly Hills. I love Super Rich. It's just, what are we watching? What are we watching? Right? Magic Mike was cute. It's not my favorite season. Um, Anything else? I got to catch up on Real Housewives of Potomac. Are you guys loving Potomac? I'm still loving Salt Lake. Anything else that we didn't talk about today? Anything else you want to talk about? I revealed my plans for BravoCon. Oh, you know what we didn't talk about? Here's something we can talk about before we go. Mr. Fuda. Mr. Fuda. I'm telling you, Josefina Gorgasita. Number one New Jersey housewife, possibly, you know, as far as the drama goes. He's probably number two, actually, only to Teresa. John uh, Gorga. I mean, uh, Fuda. Mr. Fuda. John Fuda is has taken a lesson from his best friend, Josefina Gorgasita. He is at, we see in the trailer, we see the trailer for RHO and JDX season. And he says, Teresa is a has-been. I mean, I get it. Your wife is 31, 32. The new young generation is coming in. Teresa is basically 20 something years older than you and your wife. I get it. I get the concept of it. There's a whole new regime coming in. Teresa isn't being fired. She's not a has been. I mean, we hang on every word Teresa Judice says. I'm sorry. Not a tree hugger. I keep saying that, but this is. Teresa is the star of the show. I do think everyone is replaceable. So maybe I'll hedge a little bit. If I've ever said Teresa is not fireable, look at everything Andy is going through with the reality reckoning. He appears to not care. Francis Berwick from NBC has just spoken out, but everybody is replaceable. So, but let's face it, Teresa ain't going nowhere. So just settle down. I do think here I go again, here I go again. I think we have had a whole season that we are about to watch on that trailer. Season 14 of Melissa Gorga and Teresa GUDJ not speaking. I really think, I understand why everybody is back. I understand it. I will stand by this and then we'll go. When you put everyone's name on the board and you didn't know what to do, and you started crossing out, and you listened to Behind the Velvet Rope, Andy, and you started saying this one and that one, it just, there was too much unanswered. It didn't, it wasn't better to get rid of Melissa, to get rid of Margaret, to get rid of any combination of these people. It didn't sound better than just letting everybody come back and to have a transition season of these two people not speaking. I'm not saying it's going to be the best season of New Jersey. I am not saying that. But if we made cast changes, that wouldn't have necessarily been any better. And it would have felt strange. Like, look at all this unanswered, like what Melissa just went poof into the middle of the night, which I understand you tree huggers want. I get it. But that wouldn't make sense. So I do understand why everybody is back. Now you're getting me riled up at the end here, guys. However... I'm going to say it again. I don't see how this is sustainable. I don't see how after season 14, we are coming back again 
with the same cast. If you take out the addition of Danielle Cabral and Rachel Fuda, I know we have three little friends floating around of Danielle's or new people, but if you take those two additions out, this New Jersey cast has not changed forever. It has not changed forever, okay? It has been this for a really long time, and I don't know who, but I'm going to say, and I don't think it's going to be one person. Let's just get rid of Melissa. That doesn't make sense. Let's just get rid of Margaret. That doesn't make sense. Let's just get rid of whoever else. I think, once again, at the end of this next season, that this cast will be changed. I don't know who, and I don't think it's going to be one person. I just think after we watch two people not speak, and maybe it's not going to feel like two separate shows, but after we watch two people not speak for a whole season, I don't see how that is sustainable with the same cast for season 15 and 16 and 17. I think this is it. I really am going to go back to that. I'm not saying who because I haven't thought about who. I don't want to think about who. I just think changes are coming. And this is the last season of this cast as we know it. It's just time. It's time. Doesn't look like the best season to me, but I do like these changes in friendship dynamics and I'm going to be watching. But I mean, uh, again, I, I don't I don't un- see a world in which we're changing this cast after season 14 and it's Teresa who's going to go. Could Teresa be tired of the show? I get it. People say that to me all the time. I Yes, yes. But look at her at BravoCon. You just, Teresa will do anything to make the money for her daughters. She's still paying the back taxes. Louie and whatever. No, Teresa is not going to just say, sure. I'm sure she is over it after all these years, 13, 14 years. Sure. I'm over this job some days. I'm over a lot of things some days. I ain't quitting. So I do think we're changing the cast at the end of the season. I don't know who. I don't really care at this point, but John Fuda, I do not think Teresa is a has-been. I'm sorry. I just don't. I don't see it. It's her show. She's the star of the show. Love her. Hate her. You think she's vile, people. Whatever you say, jail, whatever you want to throw at me, I don't love the woman either, but guess what? I think it's her show, okay? Kyle isn't being fired from Beverly Hills, guys. What other bad news can I share here today? Karen Huger isn't being fired from Potomac. Who else you want fired, guys? Who who else do you want fired? Okay. Uh, I don't know. That's that's where we are. The new the yes, yes. You guys have got uh guess what? Atlanta. People in Atlanta are about to be fired. Okay. I'm gonna give you that. Anyway, guys, thank you for tuning in.